What is your worst experience of waking up after a one night stand? Woke up alone and naked in my bed. Figured dude left. No big deal. Suddenly had terrible horrible awful intense stomach cramps. Got up to go to the bathroom. Had to run with my hand cupped under my ass to avoid getting shti everywhere. Pro tip. Don't do this. Shti gets everywhere anyways. No use getting it all over your hands too. Close bracket. Anyways. Liquid shti exploded out of my ass for a good 15 minutes. Was sitting on the toilet grateful dude had left and wasn't there to witness my horrible dreaded ass piecing episode. Got it all out. Took a shower. Went back to my room to find a huge brown puddle in my bed. We fell asleep spooning. Dude was a big spoon. Needless to say. We never spoke again. TL. DR. Probably shat on a dude in my sleep. He punched me in his sleep. Which resulted in me having a pretty bad black eye for a couple days. We're friends though so he's never heard the end of it. I always give him for your information and apology ahead of time due to how violent I am in my sleep for any potential cuddle buddy. I try to not fall asleep as Big Spoon. We spent the night together at a party. We woke up reminiscing of the night before. He walked to the gas station to get us drinks and snacks. I had bubble guts so I farted one time. It smelled like death. He came back maybe 10 minutes later and it still reeked and he started yelling about dog tea. Woke everyone in the house up. He still doesn't know it was me. She wanted me to stay for the night. I didn't want to but I did. I woke up in the middle of the night and tried to sneak out just to find out the door was locked. She woke up and asked me where I was going. Double quote. Water. Was the only thing that came to mind. She walked with me to the kitchen. Walked with me back to the room and locked the door again. I served in the US Navy and on one of our visits to Singapore I met a girl at a club called Fire. I think that was the name. Woke up at her apartment in the morning. About 2 hours from the time my ship was set to depart after having spent all my cash the night before. No idea where I was and no idea how I would get back. As I was trying to figure out what I was going to do. One of the other guys from my ship called the girl. It turns out that they were friends and he saw me leave the club with her the night before. He had a taxi meet me at her place and got me back to the ship in time. I woke up to her wheelchair bound husband pointing a gun to my face. Damn cute guys. I woke up and went outside to call an Uber home after hooking up with this girl and going back to her house one night. Turns out her dad is an Uber driver. And guess who was his first customer of the day? Hands down the most awkward car ride I have ever experienced. The previous night was Valentine's Day. I had just been dumped by a long term boyfriend. I was drunk in Walgreens looking at the flowers and chocolates thinking about my ex. I then decided it would be a good idea to buy him a balloon and some flowers and leave it outside his house. Because these are the kind of brilliant ideas I get while drinking. Got outside. Let go of the balloon and it flew away. Started crying. Some dude in his car asked me what was wrong. Woke up next morning. He started telling me about how he was trying to be a rapper. Made me listen to some really bad stuff he had wrote. I had to get out. Get up to leave. Tells me I have to wait until his grandma leaves the house to play bridge with her buddies. Because he lives with her since he can't afford to live on his own. I finally get to leave after a couple hours of extreme uncomfortable and awkward feelings of regret. As I walk out. I see his grandma had put the flowers I bought in a vase on the table. Waking up and being asked to leave. And then going outside to find my car was towed. Then having to go back inside and wait. Woke up next to my one night stand. She had peace at the bed. There were a total of 9 people in the house only the two homeowners knew each other. Everyone else were total strangers. Come to find out I'm in a different state which to be fair is only like 2 hours away from where I live. I had to sit around in PSS soaked clothes with a bunch of strangers while my friend came and picked me up. He made me put on a trash bag in his car lol. Her one year old son crawled in bed and woke me up. He thought I was his daddy. For some odd reason I didn't mind it. 
came home with a girl from the bar. We were both trashed. Had SX. Her dog watched. She vomited on me while performing oral SX. Cleaned up as best as I could before passing out. Woke up in the morning to her mom attempting to come in. Asking who was in her room. He said. No one. Go away. Before telling me that I couldn't leave until her parents left for work. No way in hell I was staying for 2 hours with puke DCK. I climbed out her window on the second floor and jumped off of the roof. Stuck the landing and jogged away down the street. Into a cul-de-sac. Turned around to get out and her mom is on the front lawn in a bathrobe staring me down holding her morning coffee. Walked to a gas station where a friend picked me up. Edit. Oh. And I got chlamydia. TLDR. Took a puke covered walk of shame past her mother. Woke up to a bunch of snapchats of my penis from the girl I slept with. She put a couple of them on her story. I guess she did this when I was asleep. Edit. We were PSS drunk the night before. Like the chick was still next to me when I was checking the snapchats. I woke her up and had her delete them. Wasn't anything malicious. SX was good though. This girl's parents came home a couple days early and in the morning I was sleeping with her in her room with a couple alcohol bottles surrounded the bed with an ashtray filled with weed and a couple of roaches in there too. Well anyways. Parents came home and went upstairs. Was completely naked with no covers on and they just see my shlong just out in the open. I thought her dad was going to beat my ass. Probably the most awkward thing to ever happen to me. Not me but happened to a friend. Drunk girl comes barging into his dorm room. Clearly not sure where she is. Yelling for some guy who doesn't live there and proceeds to fall asleep in my bro's bed. He proceeds to pick up his Game Boy and plays games all night until she wakes up the next morning very confused about what had happened. Oh I've got this one. I posted it a while back but here's the gist. Got insanely drunk at a hipster bar and met this cute little pixie chick. We went back to place. Double back beasted it. And passed out on her bed. Or what I thought was her bed. When I awoke the next morning. It became abundantly clear that she had absolutely no furniture in her room. Every. Surface. This includes bed and makeshift desk. Was comprised solely of dirty clothes. Literal mountains of them. It didn't smell too bad. Considering. But still wasn't pleasant. I sneaked out while she was burrowing deeper into the bed pile. I should also mention that I wear contacts. And didn't have my glasses with me. Turns out I drunkenly removed my contacts and flung them god knows where. So I then proceeded to very blindly. Still drunkenly stumble to. 5 miles back to my house. Ah. College. I was house sitting for my dad who was out of town for a week. Had a girl over who I've known for 6 years. And my dad was pretty involved at my old high school so he knew her too. He came home a day early. And found us both naked in my old bed. He thought it was hilarious. The girl and I were both mortified. Basically. A day after going too hard at a certain beach music festival I woke up in a really sandy and glittery pull out couch bed in our condo. That I was sharing with my older brother. An older family friend. And their friends. With a guy I barely knew who happened to look exactly like Mac DiMarco. I was horrified because it all came in flashbacks. This very loud. Hallway bathroom of our condo SX encounter of the fourth kind. He drank like half a handle of our liquor and I remember him peeing throwing up at the same time after us doing the deed and then falling into the bathtub. He also threw up on the floor and on my bag next to the couch. Of course. He woke up and didn't remember a single thing. I honestly felt so bad for him, and ashamed that I did that in front of my fam, that I took him to Waffle House and hung out with him at the beach. Needless to say. Not my proudest moment, more like my worst moment. Edit. Just thanks for all who made this my most upvoted comment. I'm glad I can share this small misery with my fellow Redditors. The girl had bit my lip till it bled I had bruises and cuts on my body and she had peed on her own floor. She couldn't remember my name either. I've been together for over a year and half and I've never been happier. 
This was a Craigslist hookup when I was 22 just starting to cross dress. Went over to this guy's house after texting him for a few days. Nice house on the north end of town. He's 30 and we smoked a lot of weed and he fricked me stupid in about 3 different rooms. I did not plan on falling asleep there at all. I wake up at 10 in the morning. I'm still wearing my white thigh highs from the night before and my white crop top. No panties. I'm in his bed and he's not anywhere to be found. I find my phone and my sneaks and my panties. Put my sneakers on and I'm just walking around this dude's house looking for my boy clothes. It's a two bedroom so it's not like it's a mansion. He lives alone so the house was really clean which was somehow more frustrating cause it was so much quicker to search every room multiple times for my clothes and wallet. Around 11 o'clock I notice that my phone is about to die. I start texting my roommate. I'm just gonna come clean to my best friend about my whole lifestyle and all of this shit and as I'm typing out this confession of me being a sissy and needing a ride home from a hookup my phone dies. I start crying and I'm just like wandering the house and suddenly I bump into this sliding door I hadn't noticed before. It's a freaking laundry room. My goddamn clothes are folded on the dryer. My wallet and keys are placed neatly next to them. I swear I have never felt such sudden and gratifying relief in all of my life. Her boyfriend walked in. Understandably P said. I got out of bed and walked across the hall to my room. Family member after a wedding reception with an open bar. Can't remember much as she can not either. But we both woke up in the nude with multiple used condoms all over the hotel room. She wet my bed during the night. AWW man. Imagine how horrifically embarrassing that would be. She probably had to deal with that problem her whole life. Just to wake up in a stranger's bed with the worst having happened. Poor girl. You guys were drunk as skunks. In which case you're probably lucky it wasn't number 2. First one nighter I had was in my early 20s when I'd only bang people I was in relationships with. I'm very much the stereotypical gaming nerd. Casual sx is not in my personality at all. So I woke up, my apartment. She was asleep next to me. And I had no idea what to do. If I woke up next to her gf I'd either cuddle her or get up and boil the kettle. So I got up to do that but phased out and stood naked in the doorway looking at my couch in the other room for I don't know how long. Came out of my reverie when she said. What on earth are you doing? I don't really remember what happened. Think she just got dressed. Had a drink and left. Wasn't a bad experience I guess and we're still in touch but I was really put off by how out of character it was for me. Went to an older lady's house one night. Next morning her kid comes in. And he's at least 16-17. He's like. OMG mom. Another one? Apostrophe. Woke up on the other side of London pretty happy with myself. Until I realized all I had to wear was a tiger onishi. No chess not t-shirt just boxes and a tiger onishi. Going through London rush hour in a tiger onishi with the remains of tiger face paint was interesting. A guy woke up in a freshman dorm. We both smelled of vomit. For some reason we pulled up a bush. And the root distributed dirt all over the floor. I tried to sneak out but was greeted in the hallway by a chubby girl with a broom. And I had to clean up the room. And I left doing the walk of shame holding a giant bush. I did find the home for it. But it was never the same after that. Oh and I lost a she. My freshman year of college. I had a one night stand with a girl from Tinder. Once I met her she told me she was on probation for punching her ex-boyfriend in the face and breaking his nose. My young self didn't care and just wanted to get laid. The next morning after I left her place she texted me saying she was drunk which was completely untrue because neither me or her had anything to drink and there was consent. She was furious with my response and threatened to call the police and charge me with slander. I was confused so just thought she was crazy and brushed it off. The next night I went to a party with my friends and she was there. She was completely belligerent and came up to me asking me to frick her. I said no and she tried to punch me. I backed away and walked out the door. She followed and threw a bottle of Seagram's vodka which hit a cop car. She was arrested that night and went to jail. Moral of the story. 
Think with your brain. Not your DCK. Woke up between a young married couple I met at the bar the night before. I spent the morning awkwardly being shown their wedding photos from just 3 weeks prior. When it was time to politely jet. I couldn't find my other sock. At which point the husband excitedly shouts. Souvenir. I was a sophomore in college. Booked up with a kid I met at a party. He was a freshman. I was really wasted and he really wanted to put it in my butt. I guess I'll let him. I woke up the next morning still drunk and his friend was sleeping on the floor of the dorm with a stuffed banana. I vomited on the bus on the way back to my dorm room. Missed my classes that day. And then shti blood for 3 days. Worst experience ever. Found out I hit my face on the nightstand while sleeping and got a bloody nose. My entire chest and face was covered in blood when I woke up. Needless to say it freaked both of us out lol. This was the one and only one night stand I had. I'm not that type really. I'm a second year university student. In my first year I was. Up in dark club. I was very drunk. On the walk home I messaged a girl I'd had a few drunken nights with before seeing if she was up. She said she was and that I could go over. On the walk there I'm approached by a drug dealer who offers me some weed. I buy a gram off him to take round. When I get round to hers we smoke a joint in her conservatory before heading to the bedroom. She going down on me and all of a sudden the alcohol and weed I've just heard hits all at once and I threw up directly onto this poor girl's head. As you would expect she freaks the frick out and kicks me out on the street and it took 3 hours to get home. That would have been it had I not awoken the next morning realizing I didn't have my phone. So I had to walk back to this girl's house hanging out my ass and sheepishly ask for my phone back after throwing up on her the previous night. TL. DR. Threw up on a girl's head while she was blowing me. Had to go back to her house the next morning and retrieve me phone which I'd left there. One night I was out grabbing some wings and beer with the boys and about 5 younger men join us later on. We get to talking and some s tension arises between me and two of them. Everyone else leaves. Leaving me and these two men. I am over 50. Be leaning more towards men. And both of these young men are 21-ish. We close down the place. And go back to my place. A pretty normal night ensued. But the real kicker comes the next morning. I find out that these two lads are my son's friends. TLDR. Spit roasted by two of my son's friends. We went to her house. Did our thing. And went to sleep. Woke up next morning to a really heavy set kid in the doorway. I said hey and he starts laughing hysterically. It was her special needs lil bro. I woke up. She was gone but my. Friends. Busted in showing me pictures of the skanky looking chick with. I to you not. Black teeth. Dude. This is the girl you fricked last night. The most aggressive shower ever taken followed. Never saw her again and never looked at her picture again. Don't know her name or where she lives. All I remember are those black teeth. And that's the last time I got PSS drunk without a trusted. Experienced wingman. I had a one night stand a couple weeks ago that I thought would be the beginning of a nice love story. She was babysitting a kid that I trained to play soccer. I was really digging this girl. We went out and we were dancing and whatnot. Hitting it off really well long story short when we got to my house I heard her doing coke in my bathroom and when I woke up the next day she was gone. Never spoke about it again. I was in Vancouver on a port visit and spent most of the night drinking and the rest scouring the city for somebody who maybe had some shrooms for sale. I asked this random girl on the street. Ended up in a conversation with her. We go back to her place and smoke and she proceeds to make me instant mac and cheese but left out any trace of butter or milk. Being a gentleman I silently eat said mac and cheese. The night progresses and we hook up. In the morning massively hungover I realize what happened the night before and I sheepishly slip out of the house before she wakes up. I then realize I don't have a penny on me and I don't know where I am. Spend the rest of the day trying to find my way back to my ship. A freaking sailor's life for me.